every once in a blue moon where I really, <laughs> I really start to say, you know, this has to be big for a reason. Like yeah. there was a large piece that I did after Hurricane Katrina that I felt needed to be really encompassing because it was an architectural piece. And that was such a profound experience. Um, I think as artists, we kind of like ebb and flow as, you know, our influences or life changes or, you know, the passing of a loved one or, you know, a change in a relationship. Those kind of uh, events, whether joyous or, you know, tragic, can really form the way that we might think about art or, or the impact we want to make or definitely the scale of, you know, just kind of magnifying something to where it's, again, it's encompassing, where it really takes over your periphery once you get closer to it and investigate it. I've always um, been interested in this idea that I kind of create beautiful surfaces and, you know, kind of like uh, aesthetically pleasing, sort of like colors and, you know, you engage in the face. There's something about the depth of the figure and then the closer you get to it or the more you inspect it there are certain kind of like a little darker themes or unsettling qualities to it where you're like oh this is lovely and tranquil and then it becomes sort of you know a little bit more complicated as you you know delve deeper into it and this is one of those pieces where I felt like I couldn't really encompass all of that if it were on a smaller scale That's what